So there's something I've been wanting to tell you guys, and I've been kind of keeping it in a small circle for the most part. Um, because it's just so much. So much. So last year I got sick, and we couldn't figure out what it was. You know, it was chronic pain all over the place. It was a infection in the stomach. It was just a lot of pain in the gut, a lot of pain in my joints, a lot of pain in my spine. It felt like rheumatoid arthritis. Um, they did the check for it, and it's not that. They made the check for celiac disease. It's not that. Uh, so far, they say it's colitis, fibromyalgia, um, facet, facet number something, um, and a bunch of other shit. You know, migraines. I suffer from a lot of things apparently, and all of this came from a hip injury that I had. And my system's been on and off. I haven't been taking care of my body the best way. You know, you become a military member, you become an alcoholic. That's just the way it goes. And over the time, I kind of started taking care of myself a little bit more. Um, I started seeing that my body wasn't getting better. These injuries weren't getting better and they were causing more problems other places. So, I kind of pushing it, trying to get better, and something was just so gone. And last year, it just got to the point that my body just wasn't taking any nutrition. Uh, for months, I was surviving off of fluids. And now, it feels like it's time to come out. I feel like I'm gay, I'm coming out. You know? But I went through a whole roller coaster of shit, up and down. I went through a horrible depression. Um, I did psychedelics. I wanted to go to Cuba to go try some um, peyote or something or something to try to heal my body because the way it's going, I'm going to be headed for cancer soon and I just, I wasn't ready to go. Um, I started a spiritual journey and God has been a big part of my life. He has saved me and now I'm doing a podcast of how that went and what I learned. A lot of things that I did learn was that a lot of illnesses, it's just imbalances in the body and there's way to reverse it. And that's one thing that's going to be very big in this because a lot of it is going to come with just environmental factors that are just sustaining us and this little cubicle of just illnesses and negativity. And it's not feeding our bodies positive energy is not feeding our body's life and let's be honest this pandemic did something to us it shook the shit out of us it shook the shit out of me shook my kid i woke up from all of this i realized that i have a lot of trauma i have a lot of healing to do um and it hasn't been easy i still a lot of work to do but for the most part it has been amazing I hope you guys stick around to hear about it, so here we go.